Welcome to another video from Cycle Basket. In today's video, we are going to draw an animal. And guess which animal this is? This animal eats leaves. It lives in the forest. And the easiest clue, it is the tallest animal. Yes, you've guessed it right. We are going to draw a giraffe. Let's start. It's very easy to draw a giraffe. What you need to do is draw an oval. A line down over on your page. It's not in the center, it's towards the bottom half of the page. Draw an oval. This is gonna be the giraffe's tummy, his stomach. Now we go and draw the giraffe's long neck. Just draw two lines extending upwards from the stomach, from the tummy. I've kept one line longer than the other. Be careful, make sure you do that. So we'll draw his face over here in just a second. We've got his tummy, we've got his long neck. For his face, just extend this like this. And join the two lines. So it's almost like an open triangle. For his ears, I'm going to draw two lines like that. Two over here. And draw little circles on them. Okay, very good. Let's give him a smile and a big eye. Our giraffe's neck, tummy and face is ready. Let's draw his legs. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the animal kingdom. And do you know what they eat? They eat leaves. And what are animals who call leaves called? They're called herbivores. That is correct. Giraffes are herbivores. They eat leaves of the trees. And since they're so tall, they eat the leaves of the trees from the top. Our giraffe is ready. All he needs is a little tail. Okay, one small tail like that. Perfect. Now, if you've seen pictures of giraffes, you would have seen they have patches on them. We're going to draw those. I'm going to draw little triangles and squares all across the giraffe's body. You can randomly draw it anywhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. These patches can be different for each giraffe. Triangle, one square, one triangle, one square. One square, one near his tail. Triangle squares. Do you know what is a group of giraffes called? It's called a tower. So if, ten, if you see 10, 15 giraffes walking together, what do you call it? You say a tower of giraffes is walking together. Okay, that's it. So we've made these markings on the giraffe let's start to color the giraffe you need very few colors let's take orange and let's take brown perfect i'm going to color these patches brown just inside these squares and triangles that we've drawn them carefully. I'm using color pencils. You can use your crayons, your sketch pens, paint, any colors you like. Almost there. Now just coloring in the patches on his tummy. The giraffe of ours has a big tummy. He's probably eating a lot of leaves. Perfect. You've colored all the patches. In brown, the next color we take is orange. And color the rest of the body. Let's start with his face. Coloring around the eyes. Careful not to color inside the eyes. 
long neck. We've got colored his neck. Now I'm gonna color his tummy. Coloring around those patches you've made. Giraffes live in the forest. These are not animals that you see around your house or just roaming about the streets. They stay in the forest, they need a lot of space. Tummy is also done. I'm going to color the legs orange as well. The giraffe's long, long legs. These are his front legs. These are his hind legs. And of course, the tail. Color it in orange. Color any spots you might have missed. Perfect. For the giraffe's feet, I'm gonna take black and I'm gonna color his, oops, his feet in black. Same with the ears, I'm gonna color them black. Perfect, our giraffe is all done, but let's make some grass around his feet. So it looks like the giraffe is in the forest. Very simple. Draw one straight line like that. And draw three lines around it. Do the same thing here. One straight line, curly line. This is what? This is grass. So we're gonna color it in green. You can choose dark green or light green. Today I'm gonna do light green. Color this in. Giraffes are the tallest. They can go up to Five meters tall. You know how much that is? That is equivalent to three people. It can be as tall as three people standing on top of each other. So, I think our giraffe is done. What else do we need? That's it. This is our giraffe. And we're going to sign off. Do draw this and share pictures with us. Tell us how you go. And watch our next videos. To draw many more such exciting things. Thanks. Bye.